So what attracted you to this project to begin with? You know, this project was brought to me by Diego Piazak, who's head of uh, development, uh, vice president at MGM. And he'd seen some work of mine and thought, okay, this might be a great fit. And when I read it, I couldn't believe how much it checked all the boxes of what I really wanted to do next, which was to tell an important story, a topical, you know, a, a hot topic, a, uh, an important environmental story to tell, but but with still with great dramatic roles and being able to tell the story on an international scale with these great international locations. And because I'm an action director to pepper it with these great set pieces, these great action pieces that, that, that we kind of invented to go in and around, you know, the, the, the story moments as our, as our, as Matthew is stepping up to be more and more heroic and more, um, you know, more, you know, saving, saving the world. Um, so checked all those boxes and when they came at me and I was had, had the chance to come in and develop and also to show run it, you know, to be in charge of everything um, was so great to be able to bring together my, an international team that I loved. I had an editor in London, Paul Knight, and an editor in Berlin, Sven Brudersman, to bring my Jack Ryan DP in um, from Mexico City, Patrick Morguia, and all the great people who joined us in Prague. It was just a dream project in the sense that it was international and I felt it could be hopefully important. Speaking of important, the show um, talks a lot about the kind of dependency that we have on oil. What do you hope the show kind of um, further moves that conversation about um, our dependency on oil? We sure hope it moves the needle. We really do. We wanted to provoke the conversation and we wanted to, to get people thinking about how we get busy. We have hope at the end. Um, it's not all darkness in the end. And I, we, what, what, I, what, we, what I really wanted to do with the project was say, you know, we're heading into the tunnel of darkness, but we, there's still a chance that if we turn the corner, there's still a chance if we work together, if we, if we work to get off our dependency on oil, if we work to find renewables and support renewables, and if we lean on our elected officials to get behind, um, you know, well, it's, it was Biden's Build Back Better, but it's just, you know, the idea of how we can turn the corner and, and come at all these global problems um, and do it fast and get busy now. If, if we can get that conversation going and get people thinking about it uh, and get them busy, we will have done our job. For sure. Um, speaking of darkness, the show is literally dark a lot of the time just because of the premise of the show. How was it like to kind of take on that challenge of telling the story, but with little light and make it clear to the viewer? It just, <coughs> excuse me, this was a very exciting challenge and, and, and something that my uh, cinematographer, Patrick Maguia, really embraced when we got to talk about a lot and think about it. Because we had to, we were shooting wildly out of sequence, but we had to know ahead of time, okay, are, are we off the power grid at this point? Are we in rolling blackouts? Are we depending on candles and lanterns and flashlights? Uh, are all the cars off the road now? Everybody's out of gas, everything stopped. We had to really, we had to step this through for the entire show to be thinking about, you know, really what was happening uh, at, at each given moment. And frankly, these, these we, we, were, we were very excited about the challenge of these new cameras that we have access to today that they have um, are, are much less, uh, you know, we don't have to use so much light that they're, you know, they're, they're, they're very sensitive uh, and they're, you know, you can do beautiful things in darkness with just one source, with a small source. So it was a cre it was a very exciting creative challenge for Patrick and I. We loved we loved being able to walk through the whole show and just say, where are we now? You know, are we in candlelight? What do we have? And also the, how evocative that was to tell the audience, like, this could be you, or this could be us in a couple of days. Um, this this is where this is where we're headed. So take a good look. Yeah, because things, the show is only a course of a couple of days and things can change so quickly because of that. Oh, but, yeah. mean, <laughs> we know how quickly things fall apart. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like you know, Katrina, COVID. I mean, we know it doesn't take much, man. It falls apart really fast. 
for sure. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me and oh, best wow. of luck with this project. Was that five minutes? We want yeah, to it was super quick. Awesome. Thank you for such a nice conversation. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. You have a good one.